Hey everyone, uh, welcome to a new video. Today's video is going to be very very special because I have with me today the very special Sigma 16mm f1.4 DCDN. Uh, this is uh, Sigma's 16mm lens for uh, the Canon EOS M series of camera. This also comes at um, it also comes for uh, the Sony E mount as well as the Micro Four Thirds mount as well. But this today I have uh, with me uh, the Sigma 16 f1.4 is uh, the EOS uh, M mount which I would be using on my M50. So it is an exciting day. What we'll do quickly is uh, unbox this lens and see what comes in the lens uh, bag and also how the lens actually looks. And uh, of course I will give you a quick image quality review of uh, the video that I'm shooting. I will not be giving you a still photos review as yet because I'm yet to use the lens. I have not yet unpacked the lens as you can see. What I'll do is I'll uh, switch this lens which is the 15 to 45 kit lens on the M50 and uh, give you a short preview of how the 16 mm f1.4 looks. I am guessing it is going to be a huge difference in the image quality, in the sharpness, in the bokeh as well, the background blur that you see. So just keep an eye out on the background blur that is there at present and we'll eventually get on to how the 16mm looks. Uh, the 16 f1.4, the 16mm focal length is equivalent to about 25mm on a full frame camera. So that should give me a decent coverage as far as vlogging is concerned and even as far as normal general photography is concerned. So without further ado, let's get into the box. Uh, as is generally the case, lots of paperwork, which I won't think I would be reading. Let's get into the main uh, star of the show here. Ta -da! Wow, this looks really nice. Let me get this out of its box. I like their boxes though. This is my first Sigma lens that I'll be using. So I'm not sure how they pack their other lenses. This comes with a lens pouch. Uh, the lens hood looks really, really nice. Yeah, good build quality, I would say. I'll keep it aside as well. So the star of the show, the 16 f 1.4. Wow. Uh, this is my habit. I smell uh, stuff that I get, especially lenses, camera bodies. I love the newness of it, you know. If you have not done it, try it once. I'm sure you would like it as well. So here is the lens, the 16 f 1.4. Looks very nice. It's a little bulky, but uh, nothing compared to a full frame 16 millimeter lens. About 410 grams or so. Uh, 16 1.4, it's written right here, if you can see. I'll put up some uh, B-rolls as well. But the lens looks really nice. Wow, there is the front element of the lens. Very, very, very nice. There you go. You can see the glass clearly now. I'll just focus on the glass. There you go. Clearly, the glass is beautiful. And that's the rear element. Looks very, very nice, I would say. Size wise, it's it's all right. I mean, it is nowhere as compact as the 15 to 45 that I'm shooting this video with right now. But then again, uh, that's a 3.5 lens. This is a 1.4. So there is no difference when it comes to low light uh, photography or videography for that matter. So what I'll do quickly is I'll switch on this lens with this lens and then probably you guys be the judge of the image quality and especially of the bokeh. Switching this lens in three, two, one, now. There you go. I am now filming with the Sigma 16 mm f 1.4 lens, wide open at f 1.4. And as you can probably tell already, the bokeh behind me is beautiful, is very, very creamy as compared to the 15 to 45 kit lens. This comes nowhere close to the 16 mm f 1.4. Uh, also, uh, the autofocus works uh, really well. The face tracking works really, really good. That is what a YouTuber, a vlogger really wants, that the face tracking wo uh, works well. There is a rectangle. My face detection works really, really well. I can see it in the viewfinder. You cannot see it really on uh, in the video itself. Uh, Size-wise, it's really nice. Uh, 
Overall build quality I would say is really good. The lens hood feels good. The overall feel of the camera feels really, really good. What I'll do is I'll put on some B-rolls at the end of this video for your uh, pure enjoyment. And meanwhile, I uh, will shoot all my future videos with this lens and uh, over a long period of time, I'll also give you a long-term review of the Sigma 16mm f1.4 DCDN for the EOS M50 or rather the EOS M mount of Canon cameras. Thank you so very much guys. It's an exciting day. It has been an exciting day. I am always excited to unbox new camera gear. And if you've enjoyed this video, please leave a thumbs up. If you want more such content in the future, please consider subscribing. Thank you so very much. Have a great, great day ahead and stay safe. Stay home guys. Thank you and bye-bye.